Here she is, the mystery doorbell ringer, and she's speaking exclusively to Inside Edition after that security video became a chilling national story three weeks ago. Texas police say are still trying to find this mystery lady. That mystery woman caught on camera in the middle of the night. The world wanted to know, who was this woman ringing the doorbell at 3.20 a.m.? How did she end up barefoot, wearing only a t-shirt, no pants? And what about those restraints? She wants to be known only as Lauren, no last name for privacy reasons. She told me she was asleep at the house she shared with her boyfriend in Montgomery, Texas, outside Houston, when he attacked her. I woke up and he was kneeling on my chest and stuffing some sort of cloths in my mouth, um, duct taping my entire head. What you're describing sounds horrifying. I truly felt like when that was happening, like I was going to die there that night. Lauren says Dennis Collins, whom she'd been dating for four months, bound her hands and feet together with restraints like these and then raped her. I just kept repeating in my head, God has more for me than this. I'm not going to die here tonight. Lauren told me how she managed to escape. My throat hurt really bad from screaming, so he let me go into the kitchen to get a drink. And while I was getting a drink, he turned around and walked out to go to the bedroom, and that's when I ran out the front door. When Lauren finally escaped, she ran into her dark neighborhood. It was after three in the morning. She was still wearing shackles and a t-shirt, and she was searching for anyone to help her. So you see a car coming up, you flag it down, and then they just take off. And you go up to the window, say, help me, and they leave. Yeah. That's when a desperate Lauren approached a stranger's house. Just talk about the feelings that you were experiencing right then panic, um, just terror. I just wanted someone to lay eyes on me so that I felt like if someone saw me, then I would be safe. You come right up to the first door and then you just start ringing away? Yeah, just over and over. Lauren fled to a friend's house and then sought sanctuary with her family in Dallas. Five days after the disturbing video was posted, with police closing in, Dennis Collins shot and killed himself. What did he say to you? I never would have killed you as you thought. I'm sorry for what I've done, and I wish I could turn back time. Love, Dennis. Yes, love, I'm sorry. Lauren says she feels a sense of guilt over her boyfriend's suicide, but she also believes the doorbell video may have saved her life. I worry that if this video hadn't come out, and if he were not gone, that I eventually would be.